So here's a question I get asked a lot. Why does my screen look different than your screen, Casey? How do I get three color panels on the color page and things like that? Well, here's a little explanation. So here is my normal setup in the color page. And we're going to kind of stick to the color page because the differences are kind of biggest on the color page. And you'll see that I have three main sections down here in the color palette, color wheels and a few behind that. We have the curves and a few behind this one. And then we have the keyframes, scopes and info. And I get a lot of comments asking, why do I have three sections here? Well, it has to do with your resolution. So this is a UHD screen, but it looks basically the same on an HD screen. But if you have a screen that is a different resolution or even a different aspect ratio, sometimes Resolve can decide to kind of display these things a little bit differently. And not only with resolution, but also your scaling, like your UI scaling. So in Windows, under our display settings, if we scroll down a little bit, we have our scale and layout and mine's set at 150% because I don't like reading little tiny writing. But if I switch this to 100%, it's gonna give me a similar layout, although all of my tools are very small and this is why I like to use it at 150 because I don't know if I'm an old person, but I just can't see any of these little things. It looks nice, I like the, the UI of the uh, color wheels and everything, but everything's just so small. So I usually run at 150 and it looks nice. Now, if I were to take this out of full screen and I grab this window and throw it over to my second monitor, which is an HD monitor, it looks pretty much the same. I know you can't see it, but look what happens when I drag this back. Things get crazy, look at this. Now all of my buttons are kind of smashed together like this and I have a left palette and I have a right palette, which is our keyframes here. Now that's just super great because I don't actually need the, I don't need this palette so big. Like, wow, oh, why can't you use the two left palettes? Oh, well. But this brings me to my next little thing about the UI and Resolve. If you don't know, you can go up to Workspace and go down to where it says Reset UI Layout. And what that will do is actually reset everything and put it back to where it's supposed to be, depending on your resolution. I also like to go up to Workspace and say Full Screen Window. That gets rid of my Windows taskbar down there. So now I have three palettes, I have the center palette, the left palette, and the right palette, which is a great way to work. Now, if I were to say, take my scale up to, I don't know, 250 or so, and then go up to workspace, now we have the two palettes again, and stuff is real messed up here. The good news is that even like this, you can work, and Resolve still does the same things. You still have all the same tools. So if you can't get your screen to look any better than this, do not fret, it will work just fine. However, I would do a couple things if you're facing a layout that looks sort of like this. One, I would double check your resolution and your scale. I like UHD at 150. And two, click reset UI layout and go into full screen. It's still kind of being weird. So I'll reset it again and now it's back. Sometimes you have to do that a couple times to kind of kick it back into order. But once it is, should look good. So if you don't have an HD monitor or better, I'd recommend getting that if you're gonna work with Resolve quite a bit. If you're working on a little laptop, it's probably gonna give you the two palettes or even one palette with everything. The good news is that if you wanna use scopes, you can always go to the scopes and click this little expand button, and then you'll have this floating scopes window. Another problem is sometimes you'll take the scopes window and you're being really, really smart, and you'll try and throw it to a different monitor or something, or you like throw it just off the side and it'll somehow like you can't get it back. You bring your scopes back and then sometimes you'll expand them and they'll still be gone. You can also bring your scopes back if you go to workspace, reset UI layout, that'll bring your scopes back to the middle. Very handy. So if it doesn't look the way it should, make sure to check your resolution, check your scaling, go to workspace, reset UI layout, and that's just gonna help with a lot of things. So there you go, there's a little bit of wisdom making Resolve do the things that it should do. Hey, if you're interested in getting a better workflow with Resolve, kind of learning some more of those pro tips, we actually have a new training course out whoops, here. It's called Pro Editing Workflow in DaVinci Resolve. It's over 10 hours of solid gold video editing wisdom that'll help you take your editing workflow to the next level. We cover all the essential stuff that we've learned about working in Resolve and editing video faster, how to deal with a lot of footage, how to work efficiently, how to focus on the things that matter and not worry about the things that don't. So if that sounds like fun, there's a link in the description or you can click on this video right here. Hey, thanks for hanging out with me. And I hope that your UI troubles are no more. You could say, be gone, be gone UI. Troubles? I don't know what that is. Is that like a wizard thing? Be gone, you are troubles.